guys, I'm Mackenzie. And I'm Audrey. We're ambassadors for Grow Next Gen, sponsored by the Ohio Soybean Council. And today we're going to be making biodegradable soy plastic. So Audrey, tell me where we start. So today we'll be starting with some cornstarch. And then we're going to use our soy-based vegetable oil. We'll be also using water. Um, we are choosing to make ours in a measuring cup, but you can also make your plastic in a plastic bag. If you choose to have your biodegradable soy plastic be colored, you can pick any color of food coloring that you wish. And then we're also going to use popsicle sticks to mix our mi mixture. Along with that, make sure you have an oven mitt or something to protect your hand when you take your mixture out of the microwave. Additionally, if you would like your biodegradable soy plastic to be in any sorts of shape, you can use silicone molds or, like we are using today, we are using an ice cube tray to make the soy plastic blocks. All right, let's get started. Let's start with the cornstarch, right, Audrey? Yep, we'll use one tablespoon of cornstarch to start out with, followed by a teaspoon of oil. We're then going to add one tablespoon of water. And then we're going to do two drops of food coloring, any color of your choice. We're going to do green. You're going to mix all of that up. So, Audrey, to make our blocks, do you want to pour it into the ice cube tray? Sure. After we pour into the tray or your mold, you want to microwave it for about 20 to 25 seconds on high. Here you go. Remember, the molds and trays that you use will be extremely hot, so make sure you use the appropriate equipment. Once I remove the tray from the microwave, as I said, it'll be very hot, so make sure you use an oven mitt. And then, this is what they should look like when they come out of the microwave. Along with that, you're going to want to wait one to two minutes for them to cool down so that they come out of the tray easier and you won't burn yourself taking them out. When you take them out of the tray, you'll want to either flip them or use a popsicle stick to take them out. With ours, we had luck that they came out so we didn't have to use our popsicle stick. Audrey, do you want to tell me what we could use these for? So we can use these for pretty much anything depending on what kind of mold you use. Today we used an ice cube tray to build blocks, but depending on what kind of mold you can use, you can create anything from animals to letters. And here you can see in this one that there's some cornstarch and it's lighter at the bottom. This one is broken up and isn't formed so well, while this one is almost in perfect shape. And when we look at this, we have just decided that it's because our mixture didn't get stirred all the way. So as you can see, the cornstarch didn't get mixed in to the mixture as well, so it settled to the bottom. For next time, we just need to make sure that we mix it better and it pours evenly. And depending on what kind of molds you use, if we were to fill this entire rest of the tray with this biodegradable soy plastic, we could create a house out of it or a triangle. And that is biodegradable soy plastic. <laughs>